What's up, everybody? I'm Eagle Rabbit. We are here on Torque Drift. So before we get started on Torque Drift, let you guys know where has Torque Drift been. Well, I've been having some issues with my phone and recording and working with my Elgato system. So that is where Torque Drift has been. I've been a little bit uh, confused on trying to get it to work right, but we are have got that all sorted out, and we are here today to uh, get back into the Torque Drift game. So before that, we got to collect our sponsors. So. Just so you guys know, they did do some updates to the game with some of the sponsors. My sponsor, I believe, is still not working. Um, I believe uh, d d is working. Siki, I do not believe, is working still. But they have uh, fixed the uh, tire sponsorship there. Uh, the shock works and the uh, HGK, which I don't have yet. I got to find uh, the downhill section do some close calls. So... During the time frame where I've been a little AFK from Turk Drift because I haven't been able to bring it to you guys because, like I said, recording issues, the S13 has not changed that much. What has changed more, I believe last time you guys saw I was rocking one of these, what has changed most recently is my S15 is now 1,312 horsepower, custom level uh, S14. So it's, uh, it's a bit up there and... Uh, the power is uh, definitely uh, definitely there. Ooh. And we can get more power on that. I don't think we have a gold radiator. Or a gold intercooler. We do not. So we're definitely going to be uh, trying to get that custom radiator. Even though the cars are custom. But more power. More slides. So we are back here on Torque Drift. So like I said, some of the sponsors have been fixed. We're going to go just rip it and try to... Uh, you know, have a little fun with the game with our uh, custom S14. Maybe we'll be able to get the HTK sponsorship, which we only have the slab and uh, Hakone Skyline. So, Hakone, sorry. We're going to just rip the S S14, have a little fun with it, and uh, see what we can get into. We are 1,312 horsepower custom with necks and tires. So, we are rocking Grease Monkey, Maximum Drift Cast, and a Coastal suspension it looks like we're going against m mks14 so torch drift will be coming back to the channel guys so definitely do apologize for the uh lack of torque drift content recently like i said i was having some issues but i have thus sorted out my issues and now we are good and back at this this s15 is uh very fun to drive it's very stable i do uh did get some tuning tips from some uh other uh other players so this s15 is kind of kind of on par not the best yet but uh it's still up there we're uh, back throwing it sideways with uh, 87,000 on that i know i can get a lot better could have gotten a lot closer to the walls but i believe that will be enough to give us a, a chance to take the win here so i hope you guys have been enjoying the new year so far and uh well this is the first episode of Torque Drift here in 2019. I don't know why I'm in fifth gear. I don't want to be in fifth gear, but we're going to stay in it because this car does have a lot of power. We're going to try and run doors. Oops. Just a tap. That's not what I wanted to do. A little bit off now, but we're going to try and bring it back. A little wall tap there. Trying to match his angle. There we go. There we go. So the paint scheme hasn't changed. I do need to do a new livery on this S14 because, well, I've been rocking these two liveries for a while. We did take the win on there. So it's time to freshen up the S15 livery. If you guys want to see a livery video, let me know down in the comment section down below. I will do a basically a livery video building a new livery for this car. Definitely going to be getting more and more back into Torque Drift. Going to be trying to run some live, uh, live tandem battles again. Now that we got everything situated here on recording and getting everything back on the channel. So some big things coming this week. Uh, hopefully I will have it edited and all that for a special video. Something that is a little bit different than gaming. But if you guys have peeped uh, Instagram and Twitter, you guys probably know what's going on and what's coming to the channel this very soon. So we're going to see if we can uh, take another win here today in our S14. And our G on the back door. And on the uh, trunk. 
say back door, back of the door. I kicked that in too early, so we're gonna have to double initiate. So if this was FD rules, I definitely would have lost. So there is another game that I have been, uh, I did start to try a little bit, and uh, cause a lot of you guys were telling me that I need to bring it to the channel. So if you guys wanna see maybe some Car Extra Freaks 2 come to the channel, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, I did start messing around with that a little bit here and there, but you know my love for Torque Drift is uh, way more than that just because of FD and uh, you know all the updates they bring us. I don't think that's going to be enough to, uh... yeah I knew that wasn't going to be enough. That was a, it's a bit of a lax run, but you know what, we'll see if we can't bring it back in the chase, kick it right in the fifth gear. And uh, kick it sideways. Maybe I should see if. Uh, oh, that's too much. Okay, hi. Well, I thought we were gonna tank it into the wall, but we were able to use him, I guess, to slow down. And he's just rocking that back wall. No wonder he uh, definitely beat me in points. And he was just running all that. Now I'm out of the chase zone. So it looks like I'm a little bit rusty. I'm gonna have to get my uh, get my flow back in the game, so I'm gonna be playing this a little bit more, I'm trying to maybe get with uh, Panda and you know Fernan and all those guys to uh, maybe uh, get my uh, level back up here. I'm still having a lot of fun in this game. If you guys are still having fun in the game, let me know down in the comments as well. It's definitely uh, definitely been some things that. I feel should come to the game very soon and uh, hopefully they'll be making an update a pretty big update here soon for us so that we can get some uh, new content in the game maybe uh, some, maybe some new cars new tracks stuff like that or maybe a tournament style would be nice that way you know the people that maybe have left the game will come back to the game because I, I have a feeling a lot of people have probably left because of uh, maybe not as much content as they would like to come out and maybe they were getting bored of it. We're gonna try to run this outer wall a little bit more as much as we can. See, I don't know how this run's gonna work because we didn't run the clipping points, but we ran more close calls. So I feel like that's a little more than last time. Maybe it would behave us to run the outer runs to get more uh, close call points and wall rides. So this S14, does handle is probably my favorite car other than the pro cars that I run the uh, 180 SX is definitely uh, probably my favorite pro car but I have been rocking you know uh, Rand Ambercat Supra and all that I feel like that's a kind of a knockoff of uh, Peter Vincek paint Let's see if we can't Ooh. try and bang some doors here there we go Oh, as I say that, we lose power. I should have uh, clutch kicked. Clutch kick would have been my friend. If I don't, I think we're going to end up probably losing this match because of the lack there of chase points. Unless maybe his chase was not as good. Definitely going to find out and see. I wish we had a few more tracks to run here today, but of course we cannot. Oh, we did. Okay, so we did get a better chase. So unfortunately we did lose. Um, we did lose our win streak that was not really that high. I was up to, I think it was a 20 or 30 win streak on my S13 and then uh, I choked. I hit the wall and decided to uh, botch the run and uh, no, longer, uh, no longer have that win streak. So we're going to go back to Skyline. Maybe we'll run... Uh, a tandem battle against ourselves in this S14 at uh, Cali Banks before we end this episode off because we all know my favorite track, Cali Banks. But it's also my not so favorite track when the wall bites. So, ooh, we're going to be going against Sam and that uh, MX5. I need to start getting money again and start building up all those other cars that I have not built up yet and uh, try and get more special custom cars and pro cars and stuff like that but I do like having a, a wide range of power differences in all my cars to you know go against other uh, other guys in the uh, live session when people don't maybe have oh 
a powerful car, I just totally ran up my own bumper. So that threw me way offline. That is definitely not a good run. And uh, I'd be very shocked if Sam does not uh, best that run. Because uh, we just kind of shot our bumper out of the nose of our car. But we might be able to get this in the chase. It's all about it's all about proximity here on Torque Drift. So a lot of people have been uh, up in their game, up in their skills, up in their points totals, and their cars are becoming more and more uh, more and more competitive. I've been getting a chance to have a lot more close tandem battles now that the game's been out for a while. That's not what I wanted to do, and people are learning uh, some tricks of the trade, some tuning, and uh, just learning you know the ins and outs of the cars that they're driving. So the tandem battles have been getting more and more incredible when it comes to points totals and how high the points have actually been getting. Some uh, some guys' lead runs have just been astronomically high, and I'm just in awe. We weren't able to win that, so we're win one, lose one, win one, lose one. So I think we're going to Halle Banks, run our own lead, and follow our own car. Because it is a lot of fun to do that, because you can get so close and just bang doors with your own car because the cars are the same power and you know what line it's gonna run. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And we're going to uh, start practice. I know a lot of people have been using this to get some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool tandem photos and stuff like that, which is you know the main, probably one of the main reasons they uh, they put it out like this. So. Hopefully we can get a good, uh, good bank run here without totally uh, destroying our car. Probably not the best up on the bank, but the little wall tap never hurt, except for when it completely straightens you up like that. Been noticing on Instagram, Alec Honadale, Mad Mike with Debt, Mad Dan, and uh, all those guys been uh, tearing up torque drift in their own cars awesome to see the FD drivers, you know, supporting the game and, uh, you know, supporting their own cars and ripping in the game, you know, it's uh, a lot of fun to see that and, you know, it would be really cool maybe to get into, um, into a game with one of them and maybe uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an FD, FD driver in this game. I don't know if we can make that happen, though. I could try. Definitely could try. Maybe get them in one of the live streams and have a little, little uh, tandem session with them, but, you know, I can dream, can't I? Dream big and uh, dream big or nothing. I feel like I entered way off of my own line, even though I knew what line I was gonna run. But we're gonna try and just uh, make it up in the ladder. So, like I said, we're just trying to get back into the game a little bit more here. Now that uh, I have sorted out my recording issues, so expect more torque drift uh, content here very soon. It's always interesting to see my own car in front of me. So just a short video for you guys today here on Torque Drift. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back. I will see you guys on the next one.